Did you know that your brain has a GPS-like system to allow perfect sports execution every time? In this video, we'll describe the quiet eye and its role in sports performance and sports excellence. Hello, I'm Dr. Labby. I'm a sports vision specialist with 30 years experience taking care of professional and elite athletes. These videos are designed to help you perform at your best. It turns out that what you're looking at just before, during, and after the critical moment in sports is very important to the performance and the success of your play. It doesn't take long. All you need is a split second of looking at the right time for the right place to have success. This phenomenon of the quiet eye was initially discovered by Dr. Joan Vickers in Calgary, Canada. She showed it in basketball as well as other sports and other research has showed the same thing in many different sports. This idea seems to be valid scientifically across many different sports with many different researchers. In fact, in a recent paper that we published involving an NBA basketball team looking at free throws and how successful shooters were at making free throws, we showed the effects of the quiet eye. For example, in this image, a heat map of a free thrower shooting 30 baskets, we showed what they were looking at when they were showing, shooting their baskets. Each of the green dots and the red dots show points where the eyes were fixing at the same point for a period of time. In this player's results, you can see that the green dots are scattered all over the background, the backboard, the rim, and so forth when he's making his shots. In fact, that's the reason why only 17 of 30 shots were successful. Here now is another heat map from another player who shot 30 out of 30 free throws. He got them all in. Look how tight centered around the rim, the back part of the rim, all those green and red fixation points are. He had his eyes steady, quiet on a specific point each time he made the shot, and each of those shots went through the rim. His eyes, in fact, were extremely quiet. But how does this work? How is it effective? Why does it make sense? As we showed, and as other researchers have shown, keeping your eyes still on a target is critical for success in sports. In fact, we think that that steady fixation on a point triggers your, your parts of your brain to improve the concentration and improve your fixation, not just with your eyes, but on the task itself, leading to greater success. In fact, this is part one of a two-part series on the quiet eye. In this part, we'll talk about how the quiet eye works, what it is and why it works. In the second part, we'll talk about how to train it, how you can use that training to perform better in your sport. So stay tuned for the second part of the video coming out next week. It's interesting, not only is your eye quiet when you're looking at this specific target just prior to, during, and after the shot, there are other physiologic effects that happen as well when you employ the quiet eye. For example, your heart rate tends to decrease when you have a better quiet eye. Additionally, there's better muscle movement, and all of that together adds to more success. So the quiet eye can not only be helpful in being successful at basketball free throws, for example, or hockey shots, or soccer free kicks, all of those are true, but even it can work to help in times of increased stress. For example, the difference between the bottom of the ninth inning in a World Series baseball game or the first at-bat of the season, the first beginning of play at the beginning of the uh, Premier League season or the very final match of the Champions League. All those can be improved by the quiet eye technique to decrease the heart rate, improve the concentration, and lead to greater success. Earlier, we spoke about the effects of free throws, the quiet eye and free throws. Let's look at another sports. Let's look, let's look at golf putting. And I'm gonna show you two examples here in videos of golf putting. What's important to realize in the movies that we're gonna show, there's two colored dots, a blue dot and a green dot, and those are the points where each of the eyes are looking. Now, the eyes are actually looking in the same spot, but they're separated just for ease of understanding the right and left eye. And you can see in the image that there's a golf ball and there's the shoes of the golfer and there's the putter. What I want you to watch is what those blue and green dots do the moment the putter strikes the golf ball. As you'll see in the first video, the moment of contact, the eyes quickly follow the ball towards the hole. In the second video, where the same player was actually trained to have a quiet eye, notice how when the, ball, the putter makes contact with the ball and the ball moves, the green and blue dots or the eye fixation points don't move. They stay at the same spot where the putter hit the ball. It's that concentration of your fixation just prior to, during the time of contact, and most importantly, just after, that gives you that quiet eye effect of increased performance. So we spoke about quiet eye in basketball. We spoke about quiet eye in golf. We showed you examples of both of those, of the effect of the quiet eye. Let's take a look in baseball. Here's some video that we took uh, measuring the quiet eye in athletes. And what you notice is that during the windup, and this pitches in slow motion, obviously, 
that the batter's fixation is initially looking at the glove and the hand in the glove, and the fixation where he's looking actually moves out to the point of release of the ball. And he stays there without moving just prior to, during the time when the ball comes through that area and is being released from the pitcher's hand, and just after that. Again, the quiet eye to pick up the information about the spin of the ball, the fingers of the pitcher on the ball, and the initial path of the ball as it's released. In baseball, if you're a batter, that type of quiet eye technique will improve your performance as well. Now, in the next video, we're gonna talk about how we can train the quiet eye. Some techniques, some practical techniques that I'll give you that will allow you to employ this idea of the quiet eye to improve your performance in your sport. So stay tuned.